Okay, welcome back everybody, and um, ladies and gentlemen. Boom, so it's time to take care of some unfinished business before we head over to Lothric Castle uh, and take care of that. Uh, we are now heading into uh, some of the later areas of the game, um, like probably in the last kind of third or quarter or so. So the journey of the first uh, playthrough is almost over. Uh, I do actually feel quite sad, I've been really enjoying it, almost don't want it to end. Um, so, first thing I'm going to do is upgrade our new staff, which we're going to take away from the bonfire. Into, well, out of storage, I should say. Let's get that happening. So, it's probably worth saying that the kind of main differences between the heretic staff um, and. How do I change it? And the where is it? The court sorcerer's staff. As it seems like the court sorcerer's staff has higher um, base spell buff, while the uh, court sorcerer's staff has higher um, scaling. So, and, and, you, and you'll see in a second uh, once this gets to plus six, which we should have enough to do. That right now. Um, the heretic staff is still doing more damage than the um, sorcerer staff. But as intelligence rises, um, that changes basically. Now, for now, I'll keep them both at plus seven because it's not for a while until we actually get enough chunks to get to plus nine anyway. Just so you can kind of see that happening as we go through um, the next area, because uh, levels do Probably come uh, like pretty that. pretty thick and fast in later areas of the game. So, like the amount of soldier gain. Um, kind of skyrockets. So, with that shown, uh, it's time for us to go and take care of our unfinished business. So, the first thing we're going to do is visit Undead Settlement. Uh, uh, we're going to go to the cliff on the side. We're going to go back to where we found the original Pyromancer. Uh, that is going to get us uh, an extra bit of armor set and some extra gear, so we're going to go have a look at that. <coughs> now the reason this appears, uh, if you don't remember, is because we used the, uh, the Pyromancer guy against the old Demon King uh, down in the Smouldering Lake, which will cause his armor set to... <laughs> Enemies around here are basically nothing for us now, so... You know, you just care about them. And that should cause his arm set to appear here. Which it is. Uh, next place we are going to uh, go and check out is uh, an old Londo. It's our next destination. Oh, it's not fall off. We don't really want any silly deaths. So yeah, so we want... Oh, Londo Bonfire. Cool, we're going to go and take this down. If you remember earlier, we poked a hidden door. That's where we're going to head down here. Now we could have sorted this earlier, but I just wanted to leave kind of house cleaning and all that kind of stuff um, as one video for itself, so that people just kind of wanted to see progression through the game could do. And then those that want to just um, see all kind of the extra bits you can see in this video. Um, there are uh, quite a few things that we've got to go and clear up. So we've got to go and get Carl of the Witch out of the Irithyll dungeons as well, uh, which will be next, as well as. Um, the iron that was in the lock gate at the beginning of that area too. So down this way, uh, we should see the NPC who tells us that the ceremony is ready. Right down here, yeah. He should give us an item. Talk to this guy. There we go. It's a shame they didn't actually animate the item, even if it isn't an actual weapon. 
Uh, we're going to go over this way. If you are a little, if you're a squeamish at all, um, then when we go and activate this, go and look away. It's kind of sad um, of an outcome, but uh, we need to do this if you want the Hollow Lord ending. Now, it's worth noting that you don't have to do this, and I'm fairly sure that she appears for us at the uh, last bonfire if we don't. Um, but here we go, right of a vowel. So three dark sigils, that gives us all eight dark sigils and um, <coughs> unlocks kind of the secret ending uh, as the Hollow Lord. Okay, so next we're going to head down to Irithil Dungeon. And we're going to unlock a couple of gates. Uh, oh, this guy dies, gives us his item. Uh, just chameleon. Uh, you can simply kill him for that item. Uh, when you first see him in the um, in Yoshka's church, and if you kill him there, that present that prevents uh, this from ever happening. Um, so if you do want to kind of save Henri, uh, you can do that simply by killing him the first time that you go into Yoshka's uh, church. You do need to do it the first time though, because once you um, leave the area and come back, he will leave, and this will happen. As far as I'm aware. And if you don't uh, get the five hollow sigils, I believe she ends up basically dying to someone else instead. So be aware of that. So we've got a couple of locked doors in Aerithel Dungeon to deal with. So we want on fire. So we need to go all the way to the right, it doesn't really matter whether or not uh, we get pushed off the right or anything. Um, what we do and don't kill, we're just going to be heading this way. You go down. Down to the right. You chasing me. so I don't get um, a stupid accident to death down here. Yeah, stop talking this one, don't you? Right, I'm going to jump down here. Jump down here. Apparently, Kind of frustrating that she can still take, that she can still take your health on um, even while she's on the ground. Your way. Uh, into here we go. <coughs> I think this is the Firekeeper's Eyes. No nope, prison chief touches. Cool. So the Firekeeper's Eyes must be. Oh no, the Firekeeper's Eyes are somewhere else actually. That's fine. Uh, they're in a secret area which we'll be accessing later. So, uh, back up this way. Feel free to stay there whenever you like. I'm not really on that first. Clearly showing how we need to uh, up the damage of our rest stock a bit here. And have I gone the wrong way? That's going to take us down to the front capital, isn't it? Okay, I've gone the wrong way here. Um, we actually need to go over this way. Let's see what I'm going 
girl. Back in the room with the uh, tons of jailers. <coughs> Down the lift. So, sorry if this, if this video isn't quite as riveting as some of the others were. There's Lightning Blade. Um, I really, really, really um, want to do a faith build and name him Kakashi simply because there is a um, <laughs> there's a miracle called Lightning Blade that just like yeah I really want to do it. Oh, I could even try and equip him with a Kestus. Oh, I'll have to try that. Equip him with a Kestus and be like Lightning Blade. I won't do that. It's going to happen. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> T total Naruto plug right there, but. Uh, where am I? I feel like I've come a different way than what I was expecting. Okay, so, uh, so yeah, it's that gate there that we need to get into. So we are going to have to get through this whole area, which is unfortunate. Um, The trousers, why not? That is one of the moments where you just wish you had crystal swords for you. All nice and lined up, though. So as long as you keep these guys at range, we don't need to care too much about losing all of this uh, maximum health. We have got the Estus Glasses to restore it. So, just matter, make sure you don't take a hit. Don't have a boat on. So, that should be all of them. Obviously, don't step past here until you have recovered your health. Because we've got the... Um, Guy the crucifix on his back to the right. Glorious, glorious health got. Now I don't know if we can in fact sneak past him. Looks like we can. And here we have Carl Rich. Now Carl will take all of your um, Dark tomes. So again, you kind of have some of health. So you have glass. Um, you can give out all of your dark tomes, and kind of there's a bit of a decision to be made with it, depending on what you want to happen to Arena, uh, who is the miracle vendor um, over in Final Shrine. Uh, and that is everything. Of course, that entrance out there leads back to the train capital, so we're not too bad about that. Uh, I'm gonna homeward bone out. That is everything in this area. Out we go. Okay then, so Biz back in Pilot Shrine. Just going to uh, try and burn off some souls before we go and do the um, <coughs> suicide runs over in the Smouldering Lake. Do want to try and get rid of them? Well, so, uh, if well, selling something means I can then. Oh no, that's fine. So, uh, the power intelligence gear. So I'll fire resistance slightly. So before doing this, it is entirely worth um, putting stuff on. It's going to give you extra fire resistance. So we're going to have we'll keep that on. We're going to have the flame stone plate ring. We're going to have the speckle stone plate ring, which will also give us some extra flame resistance. Um, and we'll maybe put something like the life ring on. Give us some extra HP. Where is it? Uh. I think you've got it over the bottom. Yeah. So I'm 
my friend. Oops. Ashen one. Okay, so uh, next we want uh, basically stuff with good fire resistance on it. So right now we aren't uh, plugging for fashion or anything that we'd like. This is just uh, stuff that's going to give us uh, a better chance of getting to some items that are in the lava in Smoldering Lake. So uh, I'll cut to when I've got all of my gear sorted and we'll be in Smoldering Lake ready to do the suicide runs. Uh, see you in a moment. So, uh, we are ready to go and do some of the suicide runs, and we're going to get that sword. As you see, we've got a flash sweat on, uh, tons of fire resistance, which should help us uh, get through it, uh, and hopefully we will be able to make it to the items. Now, I'm only going to show you the first kind of run to the area. Uh, from there, I'm just going to be kind of cutting depths to save on time. And as you can see, being under 30% weight makes a huge difference to your roll, which is what I'm going to try, be trying to aim with um, as we do, of course, um, raise our vitality. So, first one's around here. Oh no, don't do that. 
So, um, as you can see, you take a shed load of damage doing that. Uh, <laughs> somehow I did manage to make it back out. Um, obviously using like 10 heals, I've got Ember on, uh, Life Ring, Ring of Favor, um, Flash Sweat, so like every bonus um, possible at the moment with 1300 health just about gets you back off. So as you can see, uh, it is not a pleasant run. So we are probably going to die getting the next item. One of the items in the area that we're going to be going to is a consumable, which I'm not too bothered about getting. Um, so I may not actually suicide for that. Uh, obviously, if I do die, that will be... Well, as long as I get the item, that will basically be the end of the video. I'm going to run past all of the basilisks. I'm not too bothered about these. Has to go to there. I think we killed this guy. I hope we did at this point, otherwise I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm sure we did. No, we didn't. Oh dear. Okay, so let's. Um, I'm in no condition to be fighting him. Hopefully, he has leashed somewhere. Terrible, 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 terrible position to be in right now. So, we are going to have to um, make up stuff to deal with him. No, no point having that. Uh, so, hopefully, this goes okay. I've got two heals to deal with the guy with the, with the Fumal Trigger Sword, so this could go pretty bad for me. Um, so yeah, we are going to have to deal with this guy though. Now we can just roll behind him to the back step. Oh. So he does recover really quickly. Really doesn't care about that much. I can bait him into healing and then just nope, pull out. He doesn't need to heal, but if we can get another good uh, set of attacks on him, that should finish him. Roll. Ouch. No! Oh, this box pretty good with that. Go, go. No! Ah. Run away! There's one hit from that one. Yes! Whew! Give me a big iron shield. But of course, the issue of no heals for getting across there. Now, the item that we want is the one on the left, which is the Sacred Flame. Uh, hopefully, I can make it. <laughs> Here is hoping. Ooh. In fact, you know what? I've got a plan. I have got a plan. I have got a plan. So what I'm actually going to do is uh, I'm going to stand here for uh, five minutes whilst my health recovers. Obviously I'm not going to make you guys watch that. Once my health is back we are going to flash sweat, get over and get that item. Um, see you in a couple of minutes guys. Okay then, so um, with enough health recovered we are going to put flash sweat on, run straight over, grab our sacred flame. Uh, that over there is just a soul item, so we'll leave that one. They, they can have that one. Like, just part of me wants to go and get it, but it's just not really worth kind of going all the way over there. 
Um, so we have got all of the uh, big and important items. That's more than links now. Um, so back to final shrine again. Okay then. So the the next thing that we are going to do is go and grab um, Cirrus's final. Um, uh, quest line should be now be available over at where the cursed great one um, <coughs> boss fight cursed. So we need to be going to under segment. Uh, I believe the easiest way was the dilapidated bridge. Yeah, we're flat. Oops, I'm gonna run it over. Is it me or has stuff changed? Oh. You know, I never realised that. Okay. Let's go on through. Let's go these guys. We are at the kind of uh, point where we don't get damaged all that much. Um, so let's see if we can find. There, there we go. So in we go. I finally found you. Just as I promised, Grand <clears throat> Cool, this is actually quite an easy fight. Stop with the warmth. There we go. Cool, and I believe that should finish Cirrus of the Summers' um, quest line now. Just have a quick check in my list. Cool. So, uh, after helping Cirrus uh, defeat uh, who the guy who appears to be a gone, uh, grandfather, uh, which he appears back here um, again. I, uh, oh, I, I, Cirrus, do hereby serve as your faithful knight, wherever, whenever I am needed. My loyalty shall never wave. Blessing of the moon. It, cool. So 
I guess that means that she'll help us as a friendly summon. Uh, now, outside of Phylinx Shrine, we're going to go and talk to this guy. Oh, loading screens. Out here we should find uh hardwood. Yeah. Talk to this the guy. Big mod. The big mod. The big mod. Cool. We're gonna see him inside the shrine, we'll try and exhaust all his dialogue. That should cause him to move. Down here, um I'll push I would have picked it up off video. Uh, but down here. Because I thought I'd forgotten something, but uh, I came and picked it up. And down here, you'll find the sunset shoot. Okay, so after doing that, Cirrus has obviously left. Uh, for some reason, it's broken my filing shrine. I've got uh, some really strange glitches going off everywhere. I don't know why that's happening. Um, something to know about Arena is. Um, I suppose the secret's not there. Oh, got so, uh, you are going to want to try and buy all of her miracles off of her. Um, so, we're going to give her some tomes. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. We don't give her any of the dark ones, we're gonna give those to Carla. Have a pleasant Oh well, I don't know why. Uh, my game seems to be dying now. So uh, Carla is the witch, she can teach you all of the dark spells. She appears um, in this little alcove just under Andre. Oh no, the only of that So we give her all this. Do understand. I'll have no sniggering. Uh, that gives us starts giving us all of the, uh, the dark stuff uh, as well as some other nice spells. Now it's going to be more useful to you when you um, kind of build in for these, uh, which I do intend on doing uh, with the pyromancer, so where I do kind of like a faith intelligence uh, build. As none of them seem to go too far either way, uh, so we've got affinity there, which is 32 intelligence. So probably means you're going to want to have 35 in intelligence and faith, which is going to be quite a lot. Give them 70, 70 points in our uh, attack stats, uh, as it were, for that. Uh, but we'll be dealing with that later on. Um, Do stay. And that should, should solve almost everything. We'll be checking back in here. Um, after we have done the dancer, uh, as we do want Hartcord to move on, as it can help us out later on. Uh, so, uh, that should be everything. It's all sorted.